next question. Um, yes. Could you physically appear right in front of us on our world without using a ship? Yes, we could, but having a ship present definitely allows for a smoother transition and a longer stay, so to speak, if that is desired. At this point in our evolution, overlapping your experiential reality to meet somewhere halfway. We can't appear physically on your planet if not first of all this is relevant to the observer and second of all we harmonize with your planet enough to exist there in that form. So we quote unquote travel or better said focus through or in harmony with your own collective energy field with the energy field of your planet and then in a sense materialize or teleport into the blueprint framework of your physical dream reality which will then make us physically and visually perceivable to you. The nearness of a ship, though, really does help for us to allow these instances to last a little longer. Again, as we have said a little earlier, just like diving gear would help you to remain underwater longer than if you would just have to hold your breath. This is for now the case. As you evolve, that will change. And the idea of ships eventually on certain versions of high vibration, Earth, future Earths, will then no longer be necessary as a permission slip for us to meet in that way. All right, yes, I understand. Oh, thank you. Um, how, how is it possible some people experience um, physical being touched uh, in a multidimensional ET encounter? All right, that question beautifully clicks in with the previous one since in a way then you as human perceiver of this touch physical touch in a multi-dimensional experience are in a sense the one who travels to us because in the multi-dimensional experience it may be so that you allow your own signature vibration, your own energy field to rise to such a high degree that you meet us on the wavelength that we naturally exist upon or slightly lower if we are also reaching out to you so that we can meet quote unquote halfway. And there we can have a physical encounter even though it is a multidimensional experience. And as you quote unquote, come back from that, say for instance, if you wake up from a dream where you feel you were touched and in waking up, you still feel the imprints on your body of the touch you just experienced in the multidimensional realm. What you then did is bring the translation of the realness quote unquote, of the multidimensional experience into the dimensional realm that we call the physical dream, that you call your physical reality. You then translate it from that dimensional reality into the one that you are more commonly oriented in or focused upon. And you bring it into the body, you anchor it into the body. You did not let go of it. Usually this occurs or this is being co-created when a person wishes to reflect back to themselves how real, quote unquote, 
such encounters can be. And in a sense, it was a physical encounter. It was just on a version of reality that you are usually not so much focused upon. But you brought at least the quote unquote echo of that experience into your physical reality awareness where you are usually focused in during this human exploration. And with that, you brought a souvenir that can be used as a reminder that you are much larger than you may commonly think you are. You exist out of so many more versions of you. You extend into so many more multi-dimensional realities and eventually of course into all of them as all as one uh, uh, if someone uh, shifts to another uh, level where yes. it can be uh, uh, experienced being touched by you yeah uh, this happens uh, most of the time uh, spontaneously they do not yes. choose to have this experience but is it also possible for us to choose to have this kind of experience. All right, so to deliberately aim for yes. that. Yes. It can be done because everything is possible. But where you are right now in your evolution, it is less probable because the moment you start aiming for it, you bring in the energy frequency to some degree, depending on the person, of course but you may bring in the energy frequency of insistence. Yes, I see. And with that, you actually very firmly push the contact away. Okay. So it is really a matter of allowing more than aiming for creating this type of contact. Yes, I see. But in a state of meditation, uh, one would be able to sort of look into your reality, maybe. Yes, absolutely. You can definitely send out the intention that... So perhaps this would be a root of least resistance and a fun game to play. So you know, or so you play, you have a set of senses. You can smell, you can hear, you can see, you can touch, and so forth, right? Now, you can intend to your own higher self that whichever one of these senses, or any other ones that you would like to add to the mix, are the root of least resistance for you to be matched or experienced in a higher dimensional energy reality that these then match with your non-physical or semi-physical exploration of these realities. You can set out that intent and you can, of course, imagine what that might be like. These type of daydreams or intention setting may assist you most definitely in then allowing, without insistence, one of these roots to crystallize in a higher dimensional frequency so that one morning you may wake up from a multidimensional experience or a dream or an astral journey or however you wish to label these ideas where you were touched or touched something or smelled something or saw something crystal clear perhaps even more sharply as you believe you are now observing things in your version of reality. So you can most definitely play with it. But the play is a different thing than the insistence. So here you're opening more doors and keeping it lighter, which makes it more effortless for you to then allow that to be remembered because most of you in fact do have these type of encounters on a very regular basis. It is just that most of you do not decide subconsciously to then allow that to become conscious in your day-to-day -day focus. Okay. It may not be relevant. Most people just discard yeah. that it doesn't penetrate the filter of what 
they perhaps subconsciously believe serves them on a day-to-day life level so this is why some people very easily remember all their dreams into great detail and have all types of -of out-of-body experiences and some just don't because for them the spectrum of the day-to-day life or the physical reality dream that you're choosing to be focused in perhaps already contains all the information they need or that is relevant for them to dive deeper into the aspects of their being that desire to be seen and then yet others never gave more to the idea of plant medicines as a permission slip to assist them to enter these type of realms and so forth. There are as many ways as there are people. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so um, much. And uh, it was very nice to uh, talk with you and experience your energy and um, namaste. Thank you so much. Likewise, we have immensely enjoyed this interaction and we wish you also a magical continuation of your day. Namaste.